feel like they have to hide their true selves. What the crap is Miles doing here? Okay, welcome back, everyone. So, if you're here, you're running for student council president. Or you're someone's kick-ass campaign manager. Winston, language. All right, candidates, please sign in, and we'll go over the campaign rules in a moment. Yeah, why don't you just sign here? I thought he was going to boarding school. I'm coming. So, you're my competition? Important text. Miles, I didn't see you there. May the best man win. Wouldn't want it any other way. Okay, all right. You all must abide by the strict campaign spending rules, right? Yes, Goldie. Uh, would you like us to submit the budget as paper or PDF? Yeah, that's a good question. It's part of our new... You okay running against your ex? Ah, my worthy opponent. Can I talk to you privately? Yeah, sure. You told me you liked it rough. You stole my slogan. I hadn't even seen yours when I came up with mine. You're full of crap. Why are you even running? You hate school. I'm running because I'm tired of running. Are you stroking out? Listen, things got so bad with my dad last year. I thought about boarding school. He's out of the house now, but he's still in the city, so. So you thought you'd escape on your magic carpet made of money? Then I realized that the real problem was I felt alone. So you're running to make friends. I'm running because I want the grassy to have something for everyone. Hey, it's better than your reason. Which is? You're not over me. And you're just looking for a distraction. You've never been more wrong. That's too bad. Because I'm not over you. about um, my platform. Not only gives us leadership skills, but also community connections. This is why I respectfully ask for your vote. Thank you, Goldie. Okay, question time. Tristan, in two words, why do you think you're the most qualified to lead the Degrassi student body? Well, because I'm fun and empathetic. That's great. Miles. I'm honest and decisive. <laughs> Sorry, Tristan, didn't quite catch that. No, I just... wanted Miles to elaborate on his honesty. There won't be any surprises with me. What you see is what you get. They'll get it all right. Especially if there's some cute niner, right? What are you talking about? Are you done with me, Mr. Honesty? I saw you scribbling on that wand. I'm, I'm sorry, can we get back to the actual debate? Good people of Degrassi, do you deserve a president that wants to make this a place for everyone or one that can't keep it in his pants? Oh, Tristan, time's up. I think the school deserves a president who can separate his personal and professional lives. Miles, enough? <laughs> Decisive my ass. You can't even decide if you like boys or girls. Okay, I think we got a little off track here. Uh, Goldie? I'm, I'm sorry, what, what was the question? Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> wow. Really great looking, good group of people here. I uh, fit right in. <laughs> right. No, but uh, sincerely though. Thank you for electing me guys and I hope we can make this Degrassi's best year ever, huh? Yeah. Miles. Yeah. A word? Okay. You should have given me the council credit card. Yeah. It's come to my attention that you threw an election party. Yeah, so. The campaign spending limit was $100. The pictures showed you spent at least that much on food and drink alone. This is total crap. You broke the rules. I'm afraid I have to disqualify you. cheated. Okay. Fine, you win. Congratulations. But enjoy while it lasts because I'm going to destroy you. And for the record, I wasn't over you. But I certainly am now. Roses are red. Violets are blue. This assignment sucks, 
And Tristan also sucks. You know, if you wanted to be class president so bad, you just shouldn't have cheated. Just drop it away. All right, all right. Everyone just, just chill. Uh, yeah, you're gonna redo that. And I want it done tomorrow. What? Why? I asked you to write about something you care about, not picking fights with your classmates. Hey, let's get to the cafe before all the good slices are gone. Floating in the pool with a glass of single malt is more what I had in mind. You in? Uh, I'm not skipping. It's the second week of school. Huh, you're lost. So, how are they doing it? I already told you, I couldn't see the dude's face. What does that even mean? Were they like... No, stop. I'm, I'm not gonna recount the details of walking in on my mom doing that. Hey, at least this means your mom's not getting back together with your... lousy dad. You can say abusive, he's earned it. Seriously. After everything he's put our family through, I couldn't handle that. So, maybe there's a silver lining to walking in on your mom getting... No, I, I think I have PTSD. I want to murder that rando my mom was with. Reasonable. I think that cutting the brakes on his car might really help me heal from this trauma. That's what I'm talking about. Or maybe decapitation. I have some antique swords kicking around the house. <laughs> well, there you go. I've also heard that bathing in the blood of your enemies is very therapeutic. Mm. Your turn for institutionalized torture. So you're gonna tell your brother and sister? Nah, if my mom is having a fling, Frank and Hunter don't need to know. I'm just gonna forget what I saw or, you know, Murder. Who wants breast? It's very juicy. <sighs> I'm gonna need my room. Me too. Sit down, both of you. We are gonna have a nice meal together and we're gonna talk about our days. So, what everyone do at school? I don't know why you're in such sour moods. I had a great day. I tried a new Zumba class. I feel very invigorated. Why don't we talk about Frankie's midlife crisis hair? Why don't you shove it? Ugh, so much for a nice family dinner. Hey, Jeff, what's your problem? Your weirdo stat's been up today. Absolutely. <laughs> Look, well, this morning, I, I kinda... That was the school. Uh, they want us to come and talk to Principal Simpson tomorrow. What did you do now, idiot? For once, I have no idea. Apparently, you threatened another student. What? Is this about what I said in English class? Because Mr. Mitchell asked us to talk about our feelings. Cutting the brakes to his car would really help me heal from this trauma. That's what I'm talking about. Or maybe decapitation. There's some antique swords kicking around the house. There you go. Where did you even get that? Someone put it on Hasty Graham and it was reposted hundreds of times. A student brought it to my attention. Why? Because people are concerned about what you're saying. I need to know who you're talking about, Miles. I can't make jokes with my friend in a, in a private moment? Not about those things and not on school property. You actually think I'm capable of murdering someone? You were very upset about what happened with the election. Are you talking about Tristan? No. Well, if you won't tell us, then I have to suspend you. Oh, come on, Miles. Just tell us who you were talking about. No, thank you. Really? After everything this family has been through, you're gonna get in trouble again because you won't own up to your irresponsible behavior. I was talking about the random guy I saw you with at our house. What were you doing home in the middle of the day? So this seems like it's a family matter. Um, maybe I should step out. No, let me. Maybe you two will hit it off. <laughs> I mean, how did it make you feel? I want us to have these conversations. Yeah, right. Miles? You got something to share? It's just a bunch of crap. You don't want to know how we feel. Some people ask you to express your feelings. They don't mean your actual feelings. They mean the feelings that they want you to have. Because people can't deal with dark or scary or weird 
they want you to smile and say, yeah, I'm fine, everything's great, because then they can just go on with their boring lives and never think about you again. You're gonna give me two pages on anything. Shock me, surprise me. If it's anything like that, you'll get yourself an A. Okay, where's my feedback on Tiny's piece? There are like five swear words in the first line. You can't do that in an English assignment. Mr. Mitchell told me he wanted me to shock and surprise him, so I'm going for like a Chuck Palahniuk kind of vibe. All right. I'm sure military school is lovely this time of year. All right, did you two come out here just to bug me then? No. Mom wants to talk to us. What's that look? <laughs> Nothing. Just buckle up, man. Is everything okay? I've been meaning to talk with you guys about this for a while, but uh, frankly, it's not an easy conversation to have. The truth is, I've been seeing someone. Who is it? It's your father. Is he moving back in? No, but we, we're we really working toward Sweet, that. Thanks. Miles, Miles, don't go. Hamlet. Your mom's seriously forgiving your dad for cheating on her? Yeah, and for treating me like trash. What did the twins say? Hunter's happy. Frankie's a 15-year-old girl. Well, maybe they think he's changed. People don't change. I missed what Mr. M said about iambic pentameter. Complicated way of saying simple things. The end. And now my dad's coming over for dinner. At least he's not moving in. Yet. One dinner leads to another. Could you please keep quiet? The six months he's been gone have been the best of my life. Look, just tell your mom that you're not ready. Do you mind holding these? Now, Shakespeare places emphasis on certain... Yes, ask me. Miles cut my hair. Oh, no, I didn't. Then what are you doing with those scissors? Charming, Miles. The attention it is. <laughs> Thank you. Dinner was perfect. Almost perfect. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. Yeah, you missed one heck of a pot roast. Well, I'll be sure to have my own roast in your honor later. I know. I know I've let you down. But I, I want to earn back your trust. I do. I am. He wants us to be a happy family again. Mom, when were we ever a happy family? Was it when he cheated on you or when he used me as his punching bag? Always bring up the past. That was six months ago. He's going to therapy. He, he's taking anger management classes. Your brother and sister gave him a second chance. Why can't you? Because whenever he, he's around me, Mom, look, I, I feel like I can't breathe. Okay, breathe. okay. okay. Don't let him back, okay? I'm not. At least not yet. No. Not ever. Don't let him back. Now, I'm planning another family dinner. And I would love it if you would be there. So you could see how much he's changed. Do I have a choice? Not if you care about our family. thinks I'm a bad guy. Yeah, my mom thinks I'm a bad cook. Sorry, your problem's bigger. No, my problem's standing over there. Oh, you came to thank me. How sweet. Thank you. For what? For getting you out of that dinner you were complaining about? With a detention. I believe in solving problems, not whining about them. Don't act like you did me a favor. You're the only one who thinks your dad isn't to be trusted. So find proof. Yeah, because it's that easy. Criminals get careless. If your dad's a bad guy, there's evidence. So what's your brilliant plan? Break into Mr. H's apartment? Of course not. But I assume his son can get a key. Maybe this is a bad idea. It's so 
slightly too late for that. Why are you even helping me? New here. I need friends. And I know what it's like to have someone in your life you'd rather not. Where's this computer? I don't know. I've never been in my dad's condo before. Even if we find this computer, how will we get in? Found it. Oh, okay. Well, I've tried all the usual passwords before. Family pet. What's your middle name? David, but I really doubt that's it. I'm in. Oh, people are dumb. <laughs> Here's an email to Andrea. This is the woman that my dad was having an affair with. He asked her to stay away from him so we could fix things at home. I thought you said your dad was in a transit meeting. by the end of the weekend. What are you doing? Like I said, I need friends. Is made out? Y listen, you're missing the point. That email, was it real? Can, can my dad change? Those are um, tough questions. Um, how far did you guys go? You're obsessed, OK? <laughs> Why aren't you? I mean, you are so fixated on your dad, you can't even enjoy a spontaneous closet makeup. Tell me how, and I'll do it. Anything to survive this stupid dinner. I don't know, man. Just let go. How are you holding up? Hi, Esme. Maybe we can grab a coffee sometime, or uh, commit a sexy felony. You told him we made out? What's a girl got to do to put a smile on your face? Convince my mom to dump my dad. There are always going to be people in your life who upset you. So I just get to feel like crap forever then? Don't give them that power. Find a way to control your feelings. Here are my happy pills. Mom's waiting in the car. Don't want to be late for dad. Yeah, I'll meet you there. Take two and call me in the morning. Or don't. Whatever. Oh, you mean Esme? Ah, is that for me? What are you doing here? Grabbing a bite, eh, toi? Well, it's only right that I be honest with you. I'm dating someone new. Golly gee, you're going steady, huh? Is he your soulmate? His name is VJ. <laughs> My brother's friend? <laughs> Robin the Cradle Hunter. So you're allowed to date, but I'm not. Who's dating? We have more of a sibling relationship. Mm. Right, bro? Sure thing, sis. <laughs> Vomit. And really creepy. Well, I have a thing for weirdos. Oh. Hey, Miles. Are you joining us? Yes, please. Absolutely <laughs> not. Not fun your date. Come on, come on, faster. Oh. Get, use your heel spell. Oh, damn. Oh, you idiots, come on. Hey, uh, could you just keep it down? I'm trying to focus. Yeah, me too. If Northern Tech wins this, then my gaming team makes playoffs. Okay, can you watch it somewhere else? Since when are you such a homework nut? What are you working on? I didn't care about the scrapes on my knees. I just wanted those damn training wheels off. Is this creative writing? Uh, there's some high school writing feature in the Toronto Interpreter. Mr. Mitchell thinks that they might publish it. Really? My son, the author? Well, it's not for sure yet. I still need to finish these edits and send it to him tonight. So if you guys could just give me some space, please. Yes! Parkdale lost. Which means we made playoffs. 
You'll understand when my gaming team's playing in the gym, annihilating the competition. Ooh. Should we all go watch? You really want to come? Yeah. Yeah, you're my brother. What if I want that to come, too? Totally fine. Really? You guys are in for a show. I love it that my boys are doing so well. Wait. How are you a favorite and I'm not? I guess I just got it all figured out. How can I finish my work? No, you can't read the lyrics yet. <laughs> Miles. Your short story is really good now. I love the changes, and the interpreter loved it too. I'm gonna publish it and do a profile on you. Seriously? Yep. <laughs> oh, my mom's gonna flip. You know, I actually went to J school with Rodrigo, who's a great guy. He'll be at your place for the interview. He wants to see what home life is like for a literary genius. <laughs> I had to ask you about your short story, what it's about. Uh, it's my dad. Hey, if you're not up for it, I can put someone else's name forward. No, no, I've, uh, I've, I've got it. How exactly do you got this? You know, it's so messed up that when I'm happy, everybody sounds the alarm. Maybe because it's a warning. What are these? Uh, what did you say they were? Lorazepam. Which weren't prescribed to you. Look, these anxiety meds can be super addictive. Can you tell us, narc over here that they aren't addictive? Let me ask you this. Do they help? It's not an answer. Well, I don't want to have to take them, like, forever. Why not? You eat food every day? That's not the same thing. People drink coffee every day. They're anxiety meds, not lattes. We all do things to cope with the crushing fear of our inevitable mortality. Yeah, but you're only supposed to take these a couple weeks at a time. Okay, what happens if I stop? You spontaneously combust. Be serious. This charming young man you've been lately goes back to being a nervous mess anytime anyone whispers, Daddy. <sighs> Look, popping these pills like they're candy, it's as messed up as she is. been writing since kindergarten three hours you know really uh took to him I, I, I mean creatively uh month i i never really thought i was any good before mr mitchell so. well it's it's important to have a mentor <laughs> okay uh tell me a little bit about taking off the training wheels <clears throat> Uh, well, it's a short story about learning how to ride a bike. Well, more specifically, learning from your dad, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah. Uh, with whom the main character seems to have a pretty complicated relationship. the pills cold turkey i told you not to take one now i flushed them i feel i feel like my heart's gonna explode okay uh this is a garden variety panic attack i'll walk you through it start by breathing into your belly <laughs> Girls in grade 10 gym. Can you name a group of people with more anxiety? Look for anything that says uptight. Two strap backpacks. You see that girl Shay step anywhere? I can't believe you didn't fill your scripts this week. Hey, I can't believe you'd flush what I gave you. So we're even. What if we don't find any? I, I lost it when I had to talk about my dad. In like an hour at my brother's gaming thing, I have to talk to him. And I'm sure that you'll be fine. I know I will. Because of these. They'll do in a pinch, but the dosage is higher than you used to, and the effects are fast. Sounds good to me. Awesome, drop it. Range drop. Target annihilated. Let's do this. Hunter's killing it. Is 
Hunter killing him? I don't really know what's happening. Yeah, I, I think he just killed a furry guy. Of course he's killing if he's a Hollingsworth, right, Dad? Hmm? Damn straight. The winners. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go in. Boss, drop it. Let's go, honey. Let's go, honey. You're distracting me, too. Hey, hey, man. You're acting kind of weird. Come on. Well, is he okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just loving this family time. What is going on with him? Uh, long day. Remember we had a quiz. I have known you since you were in diapers, Winston. Don't lie to me. He's on drugs. Pills. Let's go get some air. Come on. Where are they? You were doing so well. You were getting published. I'm trying to be the son that you want me to be. No, you're not. You were high at school. <laughs> but you think this is funny? No, you're right. This is terrible. I'm a terrible kid. You missed a show. Not so bad. You, you actually seem really smart. Actually? Well, I mean, I think your parents are gonna be impressed. Who cares? Look, I'm sorry I blew your secret to your mom. I, I was worried. No, you don't have to worry anymore. She trashed my room searching for contraband. Well, did she find any? No, and she won't because she doesn't know where to look. Where did you get those? From the one person who actually does care about me. Hey, come on. You don't have to do that, all right? If you really have anxiety, I can get you help from a doctor or oh, something. I'm done trying to be everyone's favorite son. If you're always a disappointment, then it's impossible to disappoint. Hey! Sure, but in order for our gaming team to be competitive, we would need new computers. But you just have them lying around. I, I, I'm... Trap! Would you delinquents just move along to skipping class and leave me alone? Hey, nothing's that serious. What would you know? If I don't get that tech, then we don't go to nationals and Boz, VJ, and Yael are pissed. Um, where's nationals? Vancouver. Which means hotels. Oh, you dog. You're hoping to get some, huh? No, 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 no. It's just about video games. Just shut up and let me think. Well, why not just ask Dad for the money? I could support my little games. Maybe if it was basketball. People would actually pay to watch because, you know, it's a uh, sport. <laughs> hey, loads of people watch our live streams. We have fans. Really? Are they here? Please, ladies, give him some space. Hey, you want an autograph? That'll be five bucks. No, <laughs> ten bucks. <laughs> You know, contrary to popular belief, you're not a total waste of space. <laughs> Hello? Good. You're not dead. So where the heck are you? Freaky? Mom said to get you up for school, but you're not here. So I ask again, where are you? The place with the grass and the trees. If you don't want to tell me where you are, fine. But what do I tell Mom? Um, uh, just tell her that I'm, I'm at school early. Like anyone would believe that. Tell her I'm in the shower. No, I'm gonna grab a taxi. I'll be home soon. Come on. Except I have no wallet. Check your pants. Well, well definitely not there. Then I guess I'll bring you some clean clothes. Miles Hollingsworth. 
Uh, Hamlet is depressed, and he's trying to figure out if hurting himself is a way out. But it's not. I took notes, but it'll cost you. Ew, did you sleep in a dumpster? Or two dumpsters? What happened last night? You don't remember? It was epic. First, we snuck into this amazing club. They wouldn't serve us, so you swiped a bottle from the bar. <laughs> then this sponsor tried to stop you. And then what? By the time I got out, you were MIA. I could have, I could have died. But you didn't. Would you rather have spent the night with mommy and daddy? Obviously not. This will take the edge off. What's in here? Does it matter? <laughs> I'm hungry. Please, please tell me you're hungry. This food is filled with toxins. <laughs> <laughs> Great, more toxins for me. <laughs> I will have an enchilada and uh, <laughs> nachos. That's definitely nachos, yeah. You're not welcome here. <laughs> oh, rollover is so fun. You can go too. What's your damage? You sent junk pics to my girlfriend last night. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> Who's your girlfriend? Lola. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 I look really good in this one. Get that out of my face, loser. Oh, you don't want to see what has your girlfriend so hot and bothered? Come on, you know you want to. You just get out of here, okay? Are well, you holding out for the real thing? Huh? <laughs> Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> well, it was a minor concussion, but you should look out for complications. Thanks. It's been swell. And not so fast. You're a minor. You need someone to sign you out. Well, my folks are at some fancy benefit. They're very hard to reach. Miles, are you okay? I'm his mother. Is he okay? Well, his head is fine, but I have some concerns about his blood work. What type of concerns? Let's find a room to talk. Stupid, I'm going home. Please cooperate with the doctor. Fine. You want to know if I'm trying to kill myself? The answer is yes. Oh my God. I'm so depressed, I can barely get out of bed anymore. But there's one thing that might help. And I think it's clonazepam. Do you know what was in your system when you came to the hospital? Benzos, sleeping pills, alcohol, MDMA, horse tranquilizer. Horse oh, tranquilizer? No, no, no. There's no way. That you must have the wrong drug. Ever buy a pill at a club? It's a common attitude. This is so much worse than I thought. We have to get you better. The drugs make me better. Miles, they're going to kill you. Then you'll just have the happy little family you've always wanted, right? That's not true. Yes, it is. You don't care. I do. No, you don't. You brought Dad back. When I'm around him, I can't breathe, and I tell you that all the time, and you don't listen to me. And these drugs are the only way that I can make anything better, and they're the only way that I have control. And they're the ones controlling you. Look at your leg. That shaking is a withdrawal symptom. It's your body demanding more drugs. And the more you take, the more you need, until one day you'll take too much. So I ask again, do you want to die? I can't stop. I don't, I don't know what to do. Just accept help. Just... Please. Oh, did you have these flown in from Pally? What are you doing? I was worried. I came to check in on you. Is that allowed? Well, I'm, I'm fine. You can go. And skip out on this spread. There are like eight types of jam. Please, ask me. <laughs> what is your problem? Uh, I'm an addict. <laughs> is that what some quack told you? I'm eating with an addiction 
counselor today. And he'll help me stop. And I can't hang out with you anymore. Because I'm an enabler. Yeah. I know the psychobabble. I want to get better. Don't be such a square. Whatever. You have no friends and a crap family. You'll come back. And when you do, who knows where I'll be. We need to talk. Tristan, I really don't feel up to this right now. OK. I am basically 100% headache right now, so thank you for that. That's a shame, but I want an explanation for what you did to me. Whatever happened between us is in the past, OK? I have after school counseling to get there. You gave me chlamydia. <laughs> That's exactly what I need, attitude from patient zero. I'm sorry you got chlamydia, but you didn't get it from me. Stop lying. It's not like I'm not used to you always hurting Tristan, me. Tristan, I've had a billion medical tests recently. I know for a fact that I never gave you anything. But if you didn't, then who did? Have fun figuring that out. I have last period free, and you're the only thing standing between me and home. Be gone. You seen the doctor yet? Because I'm basically a leper now? Very droll. Excuse me. I'm genuinely asking. You shouldn't let these things slide for too long. You're being nice to me? I just... I understand what it's like to mess up. Like, big time. I understand. I went to the doctor at lunch. And I have zero chlamydia and one urinary tract infection. Sorry. So for now, I'm thinking way more protection and way less online diagnosis. I have a free period, too. You want to uh, grab a drink? Maybe a large cranberry juice? Well, that is literally what the doctor ordered. Well, guess what? A hole in my head, and nothing fills it except. Will I ever stop missing them? The pills. The feeling of pills, like I can like handle anything. Getting better is going to take time. It's a mountain, but not one you climb in a day. First step is to occupy your mind. Your advice is to get a hobby. And your friends, someone you trust. Well, I guess there's Esme. The girl that got you hooked in the first place must be someone else you can trust. Got you something. Don't flirt with me, Miles. I'm not. Uh, I'm bartering. Yeah, and what must I do for this caffeinated elixir? Can I help with the snowball? The snowball is the shining jewel atop the crown of my presidency. I only have room for the most reliable help. Well, reliable is my mom's maiden name, so I'm at least half reliable. Yeah, you're not gonna run off with a certain female. I'm on a strict no as my diet. You don't mind doing grunt work? It depends on the kind of grunting. What did I say about flirting? Okay. There are boxes of snow machine equipment all over the council office. They need organizing and stacking. Seriously, Tris, thanks. We've got lots to review so you can ace your exams. Let's get started. There isn't much to move, but it's a two man job. And then we'll grab lunch? Yeah, I, I have to do something first. Esme. Esme, wait, 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 wait. Leave me alone. What did you do? You wanted me out of your life. You hurt yourself because of me? I get a bit crazy when I'm alone with my thoughts. I shouldn't have ditched you. You wanted to get better. <laughs> I miss you. Everything was easier when we were together. Why don't we grab some lunch? Hmm? Don't 
don't you have somewhere to be? Save us a seat. I'll go grab us some food. So much for staying away from Esme. This isn't like that. It took you a whole five minutes to screw up. She tried to kill herself. She did it because of me. Miles, just... Everything I touch gets ruined. And if anything had happened to her, I just can't let her be another victim. Esme was there for me when I was at my worst. She made you the worst. She needs my help. You're right. She does need help. But from you or a doctor? How are you feeling? I'm kind of stressed about this exam, to be honest. What was Hamlet's deal? You know, my therapist is actually not the worst. Uh, congratulations. Well, do you want to meet him? Maybe he can help you. I already spoke to my shrink. He let you come to school? He said I wasn't at risk of further self-harm. Aren't suicide survivors kept for psych assessment for 72 hours? The 72-hour rule is a common misconception perpetuated by the mainstream media. Come here. Let go, let go of me, let go, let go! <sighs> you faked a suicide attempt? I had to! You were ignoring me! I can't believe I let Tristan down for this. Why are you always trying to live up to those impossible expectations? Stay away from me, okay? Please, I don't have anyone else. You're the only one who ever let me feel normal. Like there wasn't something that needed to be therapied out of me. Don't make this harder. I'm trying to change. You don't need to change for me. Doesn't it feel like everyone wants us to be someone we're not? Sometimes. There's nothing wrong with us. What are you saying? Huh? We should run away. Mom, can I talk to you? Uh, does it have to be right now? I almost did drugs today. What do you mean, almost? Well, I really, really wanted to. Miles, did you relapse? No. Okay. Today was supposed to be a normal, easy day. I couldn't handle it. But you did. Barely. What happens if next time I, I don't? I want to change, but I don't think I, I can. You need a fresh start. How is that even possible? We'll figure something out. You made it through today, and I'm proud. Be memorable. No thanks to you, how many tickets? I, I can't count me big events or triggers. Then why are you here? I'm going to boarding school next semester. Mom and I decided that I need a fresh start to get away from all the bad influences. So, uh, goodbye, I guess, and I'm sorry. For what? Take your pick. You see, Mom, I need to go shopping for the snowball. I have like three closets full of clothes. None of them feel right. You look great in anything. Winston, you're here. Oh, oh no, I love Your sister's a piece of work. 
Well, on the bright side, you get to spend the night with a better-looking Hollingsworth, and I guarantee you the only drama will be at the movies. You can't do this! Where is my gaming rig? It's been confiscated. Oh, your laptop, too. Whoa, what's going on? She took my computers. You attacked an innocent girl. Ramaya's troll? It was a political statement. And hand over your phone. No, 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 not until I deal with the Yael situation. She hates me. Whatever, I'll cancel your line. Okay, buddy, you need to calm down. Shut up, I need to think. You're overreacting, okay? Stop telling me what to do. Hunter. Obviously, he's not in a social mood. I want to make sure he's okay before we go to the movies. Hunter. Hey, Hunter. He's not in the bathroom. Where is he? Oh, crap. It's, it's not a kill list. We should call 911. No. No, there's no way. Tristan's name's on it. But you're probably right. I mean, where would he even get a gun? Dad keeps us downstairs. Hey, I heard uh, the lockdown. I just wanted to make sure you're okay. Are you okay? Yeah, sure. Listen, I know the last few days have been tough, but you're not alone. Okay, no matter what, you'll always have me. I love you. I know I, I don't always show it, but I do. I love you. Hi. I'm sorry for being a drama queen. Dad's gun was missing. So you called in the lockdown? I was worried that Hunter would do something crazy. But my dad probably just took the gun with him when he moved out. Well, you predicted tonight would be memorable. I should check on Hunter. He didn't hurt anyone tonight, but I know he's hurting. Take care, Tristan. Come on, let's go home. Get out. Just put it down. Are we really gonna hurt those people? I don't I don't know. program is amazing. A student from there got a publishing deal last year. I'm glad you're excited. Boarding school will be good for you. Vanderbilt Prep also has tons of amazing sports teams, plus lots of new guys and girls. Hey, remember, you're there to focus. Sounds great. Can I go too? No, you'll be going to Degrassi after your one-week suspension for cyberbullying. Everyone else got off easy. Because everyone else apologized. Well, at least you'll be back for the summer. Why would he ever want to come back here? I gotta get to hot yoga. Oh, remember to get your file from school today, okay? Yeah. I'm going to my room. Have fun with your new life. Don't be like that. We hung out all winter break. Come on, we're going for a drive. I'm not supposed to leave. You want to get out of the house, don't you? Besides, how am I going to leave you my car if I don't teach you to drive stick? Seriously? I don't joke about the convertible. Welcome to first gear. This is awesome. Whoa, okay, not too much gas. Okay, not too little, or orgles. Stall. <laughs> it's okay. You, you just gotta stay focused and in control. Yeah, I'm on to you, brother. All the shoulder pats, speech is about staying calm. I'm just spending some time with you before I go. You're trying to make sure I don't go off the deep end. Why would I worry about that? Because I brought a gun to school. 
not ready for you to joke about that. I, I didn't actually do anything, okay? So I'm fine, I swear. You just go have your awesome life and I'll see you in the summer. Unless they take a summer course abroad in Italy. You don't have to worry about me, okay? And, and to prove it, I'm prepared to give you one hug. <laughs> Why don't you save that for when I leave? <laughs> Deal. All right, start her up. I need you to drive me somewhere. Hey, Tris. I didn't think I'd see you again. Oh, I just came to pick up my file. <laughs> Things must be crazy at your house, with you leaving and your brother going to therapy or juvie, whatever story. You probably don't <laughs> want to talk about it. Hunter's not in Julie. He's, he's right there. Uh, I'm teaching him to drive before I go. You didn't tell anyone about what happened? You made a mistake. I've made tons of horrible mistakes. And I guess he didn't actually bring a gun to school. You just thought he did, right? Yeah, right. The kill list is scary, but I know if he actually had a weapon, there's no way he'd be taking off. No, of course not. No, he's totally fine. I talked to him about everything. I'm glad. Really? Anyway, I came to say goodbye to you, not to talk about my doofus brother. I thought you came for your file. Hunter! You okay? Hunter! 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 Hunter? It's my fault. I got him to drive me to school. He shouldn't have been out of the house, let alone be driving. I know, I'm sorry. What about the crash? It was an accident. He confused the brake and the gas, right? Oh, this must be the insurance company. Don't move, either of you. Hey, I told you not to start the car. Maybe you shouldn't have left me alone. You crashed the car on purpose. I got tired of waiting when you said all your dramatic goodbyes. You can't do something crazy every time you're upset, Hunter. What do you care? You're leaving. to tell you something. What is it? You don't want to go to Vanderbilt Prep anymore? No. It's about Hunter. Um, he crashed the car on purpose. I think he was trying to hurt himself or other people. What makes you say that? The day of the lockdown, I don't know how he got the combination of Dad's gun cabinet, but he did, and he took Dad's gun to school. Oh, my God. No, he never took it out of his bag, I don't think, but, yeah. I, I found this in his room. This isn't... A kill list? Yeah, I think so. I have to call your father. We have to get a doctor for your brother. If you want it, I can help. No, uh, it's okay, sweetheart. It's not your responsibility. Uh, thank you for telling me. Oh, I know how hard that must have been. But the important thing is that I'll be here for him. Wait, you're staying? I thought the whole point of boarding school was to get away from the things that triggered you. Like your dad and Esme. Yeah, but... He needs me to stay more than I need to go. I'll be okay. I've got this amazing person in my life who supports me even though I've done a bunch of really dumb stuff. Well, he sounds like a pretty great guy. Well, he is the best, maybe. So there are some definite upsides to staying. Do you want to watch this volleyball game with me? I've got presidential box seats. Throwing popcorn and it's a date.
By which I mean you look very nice. I figured I'd make an effort for my first day back at school post-suspension. Why don't you sit down and eat something? You need to fuel up. I'd rather just get going. I know we have to meet Simpson, but I really want to talk to you all before class. Okay, then. Let's go. Where's Frankie? Oh, she had to be at school early for some emergency volleyball meeting. What the hell? I'm proud of you. I know that going back after everything will be tough. Well, it'll be better than being cooped up with only you to talk to. It was that classic Hunter charm. You're a total idiot. Come on, give the guy a shot. Ben Affleck cannot be Batman. It's a travesty. <laughs> this isn't school. Where, where are we? Where are you taking me? Hunter, um, this is a mental health facility. You're having me committed. It's called a psychiatric hold. <laughs> we can't ignore the fact that you brought a weapon to school. You told her. I had to. I'm gonna kill you. <sighs> it's just a figure of speech. Well, you need help, sweetheart. I know this is scary, but we are doing it for you. You made any friends? What about your doctors? They nice? I brought you some pajamas and a pillow. Just say something. I brought your hoodie. Cold. I don't know if I'm allowed, but it's your fault I'm in this hell mouth and now you're also gonna let me freeze to death. I'm going to the washroom. That's how I feel. Like every day is this huge struggle. And, and even when I do get it to the top, like, like when I got the gaming team, it just rolls back down again, crushing. That must feel awful. It's the worst. I had no idea, Hunter. Me neither. I'm sorry. Hey, brother. Did you give her the letter? What did she say? Thanks for everything. Good job, boys. Aw, aren't you two the cutest? I'll get a diaper bag. Love is about sparks, not technicalities. Hey, Daddy. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and shut that down right now. Oh, come on. I love me a hot dad. So you and MJ are gonna look so cute together. Miles Jr.? Yeah. Really, with the attention it needs to say, it's more of a Tristan Jr. Well, if you think he's gonna be too much trouble, I can come over after school tonight and help. Yeah, if you don't mind watching me study for my biology exam. Well, MJ and I can test you. Our little prodigy needs his practice if he's gonna get into Harvard on a full scholarship. You know what, I can... Take them for tonight. You sure? Totally. That way you can just focus on your biology exam without any pressure. Okay, thanks. Miles, can we talk, please? I'm kind of in the middle of a game. Okay, I can't do this by myself, all right? I'm sorry if it's too much pressure or whatever, but I'm not asking you to marry me. I'm asking for a little help with this stupid project. Okay, I'm gonna need you to unpack some of that, all right? You're so skittish. Is this just you gearing up to screw me over again? Because if so, maybe we should just call it off okay, now. What are you talking about? It's just a dumb toy. This is not just a dumb toy. It's a symbol of our relationship. Look, I just wanted to prove that you weren't going to do that thing that you always do, but maybe that was stupid because maybe that's just the way you are. Okay. Okay, I'll take the baby. Okay, but you can't just throw it away when you get bored. This is worth, like, 20% of our grade. Yeah.
follows our bouncing baby boy. You know, I think it's actually a girl. Just the energy she gives off. Impressive. Well, there are YouTube videos for everything. Just to let you know, our baby Kale got an A minus. Zoe and I make an excellent couple. Don't you agree, beautiful? In your dreams, you're at best a passable nanny. Tristan and Miles. All well set, MJ. Good job, you two. You got an A. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Your one afternoon with MJ compensated for the I dropped the baby incident? In truth, MJ was totally busted, so I paid Hunter a visit. As it turns out, these things do have a reset button. I'm sorry. I just I get paranoid about screwing things up with you. And I don't want to put on too much, like, pressure or whatever. Is that what all that talk about the future was? Look. I know I'm not the best at planning, but I'm not going anywhere. You're not? No. I worry about messing up our relationship, too, you know? We're in a relationship? Well, I hope so. I mean, are we? Sounds good to me. <laughs> Tristan. Yeah, he was trying to get his Zoe Rivas voodoo doll to work. So you heard. Great. I need to find him and apologize. Wait, what did Tristan tell you? Not for me to know. It's none of my business. <gasps> I used to care what everyone thought about me, too. Especially my dad. Then what happened? Therapy. A whack of it. Made me realize that if you care too much about what other people think, you just end up hurting yourself. Tell me about it. The only people who matter to me now are the people who actually like me for me. Nobody likes me for me. Well, it's funny you should mention that, actually, you know. Winston really likes you. <gasps> he didn't even give me a call back. I think he figured it'd be too weird working with you. Listen, just forget other people's definitions. Be the person you want to be. Grassy through the ages. How does it look so far? Guys, this is amazing. This is a disaster. So many people have worked so hard on this, and what's the first thing the alumni are gonna see? Winston's awkward dance moves? Oh. Lola's protest makes our school look like we have problems. So ask Simpson to kick them out. How can I do that? When I was elected president, I vowed to make Degrassi a place for everyone, and I meant it. Lola can protest literally any other day of the year. This is true. Not to mention what they're saying doesn't even make sense. That Frankie's drawing is somehow worse than Tiny getting in a huge fight. Come on. You're right. I'll talk to Simpson. I can't let a few disgruntled students stop this from being the greatest event in Degrassi history. Winston, I thought we talked about this. We don't go home until... It. We're better than... Sorry, Zoe, I'd love to, but this little rascal already cuffed me. And the excuse to have him to myself. Oh, isn't he the cutest? Handsome, Mr. I'm handsome. After all the stuff that came out of the protest, maybe we do need to be more thoughtful. This is absurd. Can we continue? It would probably be best if you both went and changed. Bye. Yeah, so it's all gonna work out just great. <laughs> hello, beautiful. Oh, isn't that just the cutest thing? Say hello to Degrassi's hottest power couple. Oh, hardly. Miles and I have that title firmly secured. Does Miles bring you a non-fat hazelnut latte every day? Okay, that's less boyfriend and more indentured servant. Mm -hmm. oh, well, you should be taking notes. Acts of kindness keep a relationship going. Well, that and a rising Hastagram profile. Our pics regularly get 150 plus likes. I bet we can get just as many likes in half the time. That sounds like a challenge. Because it is. The couple with the most likes by the end of the day is officially Degrassi's cutest. Hold this. Okay. You're the videographer. Press record. Okay. All right, uh, okay, a little, a little further back. A little more. A little more. <laughs> oh, my gosh. My lady. <laughs> I hate those things. Are you okay? Uh, nah, I'm fine. Maybe we should get you to the nurse. Yeah, all in due time. Did you get the video? Yeah. A little more. A little more. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> my lady. 
This is awesome. Hashtag love hurts. You two are t just a spray. Laugh all you want, but our video is getting reposted like crazy. Okay, I wouldn't call 20 reposts crazy. <laughs> okay, let's talk about romanticism. What's your first reaction to this painting? If that buzzing. Did you really think that running away was going to fix everything? Yes. Everyone was right about me. I'm a bad person. You made a mistake. Welcome to the club. Then I doubled down. I got defensive and I made it worse. When that guy tried to help me, I just couldn't stop thinking about why I locked the doors. It's complicated. No, not really. I'm done making excuses and I'm done expecting people to feel sorry for me. I just. I have to do better. Not that it'll make a difference with my friends, my ex friends. You got to the right place eventually. Even if it took you a while. Okay, well, I have to call Jonah. I owe him a big time apology. Do it, do it. Because I don't even put butter on my bread. <laughs> Truth or dare, Zoe? There. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, God, it smells like a small animal drowned in your junk sweat. <sighs> OK, payback time, Miles. Truth or dare? Time for some truth up in here. I know. How many people have you been with? Well, we all know it's the highest body count here. <laughs> yeah, well, that depends what we're counting. Only the full it, it. Come on, quit stalling. Truth, it's, um, it's five. Really? New additions? Okay, okay, let me guess. Uh, Esme and Tristan? Or did you finally hook up with that Swedish exchange student? Actually, um, I went Zoe last summer. You all wanted the truth. At least we use protection. Why, what are your numbers? Well, we know Winston's a zero. Hey, some of us aren't just looking to score a quick thrill and move on. Some of us are looking to fall in love. Tris? This game is childish. What's up his butt? I have no idea. I don't get it. Well, you draw the radius in the small circle to the point of tangency, so it's at a right angle with the chord. That's not what I'm talking about. Well, if you get that, then you just plug in the Pythagorean theorem. I don't then. get why Tristan is mad at me. Well, he's obviously uncomfortable with your number. Why? Because I've had a little sex? That's a big deal to some people. Oh, are you uncomfortable that Zoe's more experienced than you? Kind of, but I'm sure when we feel strongly about each other, we'll see what the deal. God, everyone makes it so complicated. If you want to do it, just not up and do it. See, this is why Tristan's mad. Because you make it seem like if you haven't had sex, you're some kind of loser. Tristan's a virgin. Shh. Zoe told me that in secret. Great, I know how to fix it. I'll just... Have sex with them. It's that easy, huh? If that were the solution to any of these problems, I'd be acing math. Even though it's a whole different kind of geometry? Look, we're two teenage boys who like each other. I don't think it'll be that hard to figure out. Couldn't you have just brought your math assignment down to me at the door? And I couldn't give it to you in my own special way. I'd be home in 20 minutes. This won't take that long. Whoa. What are you doing? I think you know. Right now. You're obviously weirded out that I've done more than you, so let's fix that. Wait. Are you saying there's something wrong with me because I haven't had sex? No, I'm, I'm saying it's no big deal. Yeah. Maybe for a man whore. Miles, do you have my charger? Oh, jeez. Don't worry, he's uh, fully charged. Just wait. I'm in the middle of a very important profile on Brody Jenner. Well, I gotta return it to Tristan, so. You guys should get to school. I'm gearing up. I made it through yesterday. I think today will be easier. OK. 
good. And straight home afterward. Hunter's out of the hospital today, and I'm throwing a thing for him. Like a getting out of the psych ward party? Is that appropriate? I get together. I'm proud of him. I even invited Tristan. He friended me on face range. Isn't that adorable? Yeah. Or do you want me to uninvite him? No, I gotta talk to him anyway. Okay. Are you breaking up with Tristan because of yesterday? When he rejected me sexually? La 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 la. <laughs> Doesn't matter, it's over anyway. Because he wouldn't sleep with you? Isn't that a little harsh? Not wouldn't, he doesn't want to. Tristan likes you. A lot. Yeah, I know. I like him too. No matter what I do, he's always been the one person who treats me like I'm normal. Until he heard my number. Okay, so why don't you just talk to him? Uh, if he doesn't want to do it, he's already spoken loud and clear. I got your mom's evite. Yeah, she went rogue. You don't have to come. You obviously don't want to. So you're not apologizing? You're the one who called me a man whore, remember? Yeah, is there another name for someone who humps anything that hey, moves? I can't unhave sex with those girls. If you can't handle my past, then how... Sorry if I don't want to be just another conquest on your exotic list of hookups. If you're so uncomfortable with me being more experienced than you, then why don't you go sleep with a couple guys and then come back to me? I don't care. Wait, come back to you? Yeah. I want to be with you. You're the one that freaked out and ran as soon as you heard my number. Miles, I don't care about your list. I just... I want to feel like I matter more than anyone else on there. You should come tonight. Because you feel bad? Because I want you to. It is. Hope you guys are ready to lose. Does everyone have to play? I think I can get you out of it. <laughs> Sorry I sprung sex on you. I should have talked to you about it first. You think? So, like, let's talk. You really a virgin? I mean, I've done other stuff with people. We've done other stuff. But don't you want to try? Yeah, I, I do. But Not with me, or? No, definitely with you. But there's lots to think about. Got condoms. It's not just that. Do you think it hurts? I think that depends on See, this is getting awkward. This is why we didn't talk about it. Yeah, but aren't you glad we're talking now? You know, the list of people that I've been in love with is a lot shorter. I love you, too. Should we go upstairs and continue this conversation? Wouldn't they wonder what we're doing? I think we're fighting. Just follow my lead and storm out. How dare you? How dare you? What was that about? <laughs> you guys did it, didn't you? You'd make a terrible detective. So you went from almost broken up to relationship goals overnight? Tristan and I had a nice talk. Ew. That's actually kind of sweet. Wait, I didn't hear anything in there about you two not having sex. Well, it's not polite to kiss and tell. Girls like candles. It'll look like I'm trying. Girls also like that. Okay, you gotta go. Yeah, we'll be here soon. All right, I'll if you need anything. Heard shouting. Where's Yo? What's with this? I sent her home. It isn't gonna work out. Why not? You two are weird in all the same ways. She's like 
this amazingly badass girl, and I'm a head case who will probably be in juvie next year. I don't want to hurt her. Then don't. Like, it's so easy. I nearly lost it when she was here. But you didn't. You just say I won't next time. I still see a shrink three times a week. I don't know if I'm ever going back to school. Mom doesn't even trust me with the computer. Why would anyone want to date me? Look, for a long time, I didn't think I deserved to be happy either. So instead, I just hurt myself and everyone else around me. You didn't choose to be built the way you are, so you can only be the best hunter you can be. <laughs> that is seriously cheesy, bro. It doesn't make it any less true. Where's Yale right now? At the game, I think. She probably hates my guts. She's as awesome as you say. I I think she'll understand. We'll just have to find a way to sneak you inside. I can't find you, Elbaz or VJ. I'm dead one, Tristan. Where's the Lidegrassi fans? What? Tristan's not answering. Give me your phone. Appears as keeps beating, creating joyful moments. And that's my latest post. It's number 50 since the bus crash. I'll blink once if you totally loved it. Did you just... Can you hear me? Tristan, can you hear me? Someone, come quick, he just, he just moved. Are you guys having trouble posting things today? Only with mom commenting on photos of me and Yael. Calling us cute. Are you saying we're not cute? Yeah, well look, it's not letting me post my Tristan update to the Degrassi page. I mean, can you, can you fix this? Uh, not without violating the terms of Hunter's parole. Sorry. So being back at school isn't scary enough. Now there's gonna be a bunch of strange new people. They're just Syrians. To them, you're the strange one. Hey, Hunter, yeah. Good summer? Good summer. Hey, Miles, welcome hey, back. Yeah, uh, Principal Simpson, is there something wrong with the Degrassi community page today? Right, or? Yes, um, we had some complaints about your posts and people found them upsetting. Wait, did you, did you, you block me? Look, I just, listen, after the bus crash, everyone's trying their best to heal. Dude, you think I don't know that? I mean, I'm the... I just want to there. avoid anything triggering, Miles. Okay, well, look, regardless, this, this time is good news. Right, yes, that's great. So why don't you tell your friends in person and you can see the happy reaction on their faces instead of on the screen, okay? Okay, I'll talk to you later. I thought Maya was in this class. Yeah, I actually haven't seen her all day. <clears throat> okay, guys. Come on, who, uh, who knocked a Simpson, hmm? Apparently, my updates about my boyfriend's health were just maybe getting a bit too much for the delicate flowers in the room. So, who was it? I, for one, am glad they aren't popping into my timeline. <laughs> you kidding me right now? They did get kind of personal. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, my boyfriend nearly died, right? I mean, how could that not be personal? She means it was sad to watch you delude yourself all summer. Oh, he's getting better. Okay? He squeezed my hand while I was reading to him. That's great. Yeah. That's what I mean. What actually happened? He went like this? Yes, exactly. Probably some leftover signals in the nervous system. Involuntary. No, the doctors were all over it. Why would they lie to me? So you don't off yourself? I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Let's stay positive, folks. To limber up our creative muscles this year. Yes. Oh, this early today. Has his doctor been by it? I don't know that his doctor's coming today. She keeps getting better. That's what we hope, yeah? Did the doctor say that they hope he is or that, that he is? It's complicated, honey. Did you really grab my hand? It's common for coma patients to exhibit that kind of auto-response. 
This is what the doctor said. Do they think that he's going to be normal again? They think that 10 weeks is a long time to be in a coma at this level. This is school year, honey. Maybe you should get back to your friends. Oh, he needs me. Don't leave me too long. What are you doing? You can't just wreck stuff. Who cares? I bet that teacher will quick. It's such a huge lie. There's no such thing as a safe space for everyone. I'm kidding. Everyone thinks I should pretend I'm not sad just because Shay's happy. It's like we're hurting and we're not allowed to talk about our pain because it makes them uncomfortable. What? We have to care about everyone's feelings. Unless our feelings are hurting their feelings, then we're not allowed to have any feelings. Yeah, it's crap. Exactly. And that would have been a more appropriate word to St. Class. I have visual aid, is that okay? This is what I did on my vacation. June 5th, I watched the doctors carve a hole into my boyfriend's skull. Miles, take that down. Have you ever... Love somebody so much that you just wish you could take all the pain and give it to yourself. Miles! Because if you haven't, then it's impossible for you to understand how much it is important that we don't just give up on Tristan. You're a sadist. Just because everybody leaves you doesn't mean he's leaving me, okay? Hey! Hey! Come on. Let's go. Let's all go. Except you, Miles. Pebble got up to you after all? No, actually. I acted up in class, kind of thanks to your wise words. <laughs> you know, you can talk to me about Tristan all you want. As long as I can talk to you about Tiny. Okay, this is detention, not NPR. No talking for the next hour. I'm so glad I found someone who understands my grief. Hey, can you take this to Tristan when you see him tonight? Look, I wasn't really planning on going tonight. But you didn't go last night either. Okay, you take them. I have team building. Plus, Tristan needs you. Don't you want to be there if he wakes up? What could be more important? He's working at my restaurant. I wouldn't have asked if there's literally anyone else, but that that'll basically call them dead. Since when do you two even talk? <laughs> Whatever. Thanks for the save. It's just... It's hard to see him in that bed. Yeah, I, I totally get it, but I was serious about serving tonight. <laughs> oh, this goes on the side like this. Oh, maybe I should pitch a nachos video for our channel. Wait, if all this food is Mexican, what makes this place Argentinian? Me, obviously. Okay, go.
Nacho side of guac. Oh, and our deepest condolences for our dear friend Tristan. Excuse me? Oh, is he still with us? I figured since you developed a taste for that Argentinian spice. Look, I know you have no personal experience to corroborate this, but not every encounter between a guy and a girl ends at home base. Okay, tip of the... Are you okay? Like, am I a crappy boyfriend for not being interested Trista's side all the time? Of course not. You need bathroom breaks. Okay, it's okay to recharge sometimes. Who cares what stupid Esme thinks? Now, table tennis waiting. Dale. La quesadilla es riquísima. Riquísima. La quesadilla es riquísima. La, que la quesadilla es... Tell me the rumors aren't true. <laughs> okay, they're not true. What rumor is going? Are you hooking up with Lola? We're just friends. Your boyfriend is in a coma and you're doing favors for the first pretty thing that walks by? So I have to spend every second by his bed? No one is saying that, but be honest. Would you really be spending this much time with Lola if Chris was awake? Like, you're there every night, best friend. All right, take your seats. Today we're tackling cubic polynomials. As discussed last class, a cubic polynomial is a polynomial of degree three. So now that we know this, let's start by solving the following equation using our cubic method. x to the power of 3 plus 4x squared minus 6x minus 8. And so, prime initiative. to be a waiter. Um, other than that, things have been... Really good. That's not true. Everyone thinks I'm a bad boyfriend. Being here every day, waiting for you to wake up. Stuck here. Why do I have to be too? I'm. I'm trapped, and it's. It's killing me. Is there a point to me being here at all? I feel like I'm just talking to a corpse. I don't want to. I don't want to leave you. I don't know how I can stay. Amazing if he just woke up right now. <laughs> Please. Come. Come back to me, Tristan. Please. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Come on, I know you can. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. My name is Rasha Zuabi, and I'm reading for the role of hero. You're auditioning for the lead? Yes, should I begin? <laughs> I, yeah. By all means. I was waiting for you when I heard about the crash. We were supposed to grab dinner. Um, sh should I stop? No, sorry, you're doing fine. But you never showed. You were here in this bed three months and a day, and every day I've been here talking to you. But can you hear me? Are you ever going to come back to me? Was that okay? Should I try it differently? No, that was, that was fine. Based on you? I guess so. Therefore, Hiro is a boy. Well, I prefer man, but sure. So you let me audition for a boy character. 
Look, I didn't want to embarrass you. Okay, you've clearly been through a lot. I didn't escape the fighting squad so I could be treated like an idiot. Look, I was just trying to be nice. You know what would have been nice? Telling me so I could audition for the right role. Okay, then do that. Do what? Audition for Hope. Female lead. We're doing another session today. How am I supposed to learn a whole new set of lines by this afternoon? Like you said, you didn't want to be treated differently. Yes, I'm ready to audition for the role of hero. Look, we talked about this. Heroes based on my experiences, right, as a boy. But the feelings hero has aren't exclusive to boys. I haven't heard back from my best friend since I left Syria. I'm not sure if she's okay or hurt or... Shouldn't someone who deeply understands the material play the part? All right. You can audition again. If you're right for it... Do you think I got the part? Okay. He's almost here. Act normal. Hey, Rasha. Oh. Hi, Miles. I didn't see you. So, I was thinking about what you said. That someone who understands the material should play a hero. Did you have someone in mind? Yeah, actually, um, me. Because no one understands what I'm going through better than me, right? No, I suppose not. But I really liked your audition. So you're going to be Coma Boy. And don't worry, it does have lines. So rehearsal at 7 a.m. tomorrow? Who actually um, approves the rehearsal time? Oh, that's me. Okay. I need salt and lime. For our faces. We're finally having a girls' night. Free of Shane Frankie's pesky boyfriends. Oh, no. I'm sorry. For what? Mentioning boyfriends. Since mine's in a coma? Well, yeah. No, don't apologize. It's always nice to talk to you. You never do the pity voice with me. You know, the... How you doing? Oh, people did that all the time when my mom left. I'm so sorry. <laughs> So, what else is on the agenda for tonight? Um, many petties, the rom-com catalog of Kate Hudson, and three tubs of candy can ice cream that I've been hoarding since Christmas. We don't get to do this very often anymore. I want it to be awesome. Well, I'm going to go work on the play. If the girls' night turns out to be a bust, you should come visit. It won't, but thanks. You okay? Hey, um, I think I should go. Can we talk later? I think they need a little space. Hey, do you feel better? I lit my room <laughs> on fire. I thought guys were supposed to want sex all the time. Uh, do we have to talk about this? Okay, fine. Maybe he has herpes. Ha uh ha. -huh. Or I'm repulsive and he hates me. Some guys get weird at the, the whole virginity thing. They think that if they're your first, then you'll get all clingy. Jonah's not like that. I don't think. Well, hey. There is an upside. Which is? You burn the house down. <laughs> I'll be here for you, but you need to be there for him. Is this the first time they meet in the play? Yeah, what do you think? It's good, but... Never mind, it's stupid. No, <laughs> tell me. Well, maybe Hope should be a voice at first. Or else people won't get that she's more than a person, you know? Yeah, that's... that's perfect. Really? <laughs> yeah, that, that's actually <laughs> what it means. Thanks for dishing girls tonight to help. Well, I'm pretty sure I got ditched, but you're welcome. Hey, do you want to play Hope? I've been having a really hard time casting the part. But I think you'd be perfect for it. You're really awesome, Nola. I don't think that's a good idea. Why is that? I like you. 
And I tried not to, but I do. And I'm worried if we spend too much time together. I might do something that will get us both in trouble. Like what? Are you sure you want this? Are you thinking about Tristan? Is that a weird thing to say? Very. I thought you might be feeling... Guilty. Yeah. So... Do you? Yeah. Good. I never thought my first time would be with someone whose boyfriend's in a coma. Or someone who has a boyfriend. Don't worry, I'm cool with the bisexual thing. No, it's not that. That was your first time? Yeah, but it's no big deal. You say that. And but... I mean it. Okay, I'm not gonna get all clingy just because you took my precious flower. Okay. It's because we... We can't. Date? I know. Let's just enjoy whatever this is. Okay? Yeah, I'd like that. Sex just complicates things. Only if you let it. Hey. I have revisions for scenes 5, 8, and 10. All of Hope's scenes. Yeah, just minor tweaks to fit the actors. We haven't cast that part yet. I thought Grace was going to read those lines today. No, it turns out that won't be necessary. Lola read for Hope. She was amazing. I'll bet she was. Do you know how to get rid of a gajillion butterflies from your stomach? Don't be nervous. You'll be great. Lola, why don't you go wait with Rasha? Are you hooking up with her? What? No. Because there's some serious tension between you two. I'm with Tristan. He's been in a coma for three months. So there's been no boot knocking? Okay, the guy has the right to move on. The guy has a boyfriend. The guy is right here. But you can't break up with somebody when they're in a coma. You can't just cheat on them either. Is he supposed to wait forever? Tristan has hung on so long, and who knows, maybe Miles is the reason why. Plus, I don't want a showman's destroying this play. <laughs> <coughs> Let's just start the read through. I am allowed to do that when my boyfriend's in a coma, right? When you see Lola, you'll be convinced. All right, everyone. So I was seen one. Um, we should talk. Okay. So, Grace and Joan aren't fans? No, no, the, the part's yours. Um, but the other thing, uh, we can't. I get it. Uh, he's your sick boyfriend, and well, it's, it's not that I don't care. That I didn't. Or, won't. I know, but we can still talk, right? Yeah. And text? I don't see why not. Good. I like talking to you. I like talking to you too. Okay, uh, good talk.
I wish he would have been here when it happened. Can I see him? Chris. It's Miles. Can you hear me? He knows we're here, but he can't communicate yet. But here he is. Look, he's so handsome. You do. Once I get these roofs touched up. He should rest. It's been a big day. I'll go. Take a minute. I love you. Don't ever doubt that. Consciousness, moods. You okay? I heard about Tristan. Sorry, I couldn't make it. Just wasn't up to it. Well, no one's up for this. The ability of maintaining meaningful relationships without difficulty. I don't want to be my boyfriend's babysitter for the rest of my life. What am I supposed to do? Kill yourself. <laughs> wow, you got dark. I don't know how to protect him and still be happy. You should do what you can to find some okayness in your life. I'm sorry I was a jerk. You don't deserve that. I'm right, I don't. Guess we shouldn't talk anymore. Hmm. I'm quitting the play. Tristan's rehab is going to be intense. Well, I'll, I'll quit the play. Okay, I'm way easier to replace. That, that's definitely not true. You wrote the play to help you deal with stuff. You still need it. Okay, we both stay. I don't trust anyone else to play Hope. Are you sure we can still work together? We'll have to. Okay. Then I'll see you at rehearsal. Please tell your co-director here that projecting sepia tone is just going to make everything else look brown. Not brown. Golden. <sighs> it's supposed to give coma boy speeches an ethereal feel. Who the hell cares if the lights are white or brown or if we do the whole damn thing in the dark? Great. Rehearsal canceled. Got it. Last light into the audience's eyes like the light at the end of the tunnel. Are you trying to blind everyone? <sighs> I told you, it's a bad idea. CPS worse. <laughs> so, here's what we do. We like Homeboy from below, creating a campfire flashlight look. Okay, so he, he's like telling a scary story. No, no. He is a scary story. What would we do without you? Fail hilariously. Okay, well, I'm gonna get some gels, test that out. I need a favor. Simpson wants to go over the contents of the play. Awesome. Okay, it's fine, Jonah. Still here. Just give me five minutes. What's up? I am. Um, I need a ride downtown. I, I can't. The play emergency, and then I promise to visit Tristan at lunch. And maybe we can just go somewhere and talk. You know we can't hang out anymore, right? Except the play. Maybe you can take a bus. Don't move a muscle. You walking? It's only one or two steps. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. You're amazing. And what's next, a marathon? His goal is to make it to your play. Well, I don't know if it's going to happen. The school worries that the content might be triggering. Wow. Well, what are you going to do? Just wait for Simpson to decide, I guess. Fight. Oh. 
Well, lots of great plays have controversial content. Some you even study in school. Why? Because the theme is important. Your theme is hope. And what could be more important than that? Does that mean that there will be more kissing? If you insist. <laughs> Don't stop for me. We'll continue this later. What do you want? Your help convincing Simpson to approve our play. Does the main character actually consider suicide? Yeah. So does Hamlet. And fantasize about murder. Macbeth. And I hear there's sexual content. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. Are you actually comparing yourself to Shakespeare? Except people will actually understand what I'm trying to say. Mm. Look, it was your idea for me to get involved with the play. <laughs> But I didn't tell you to write it for HBO. It's still the same story I promised. A boy finds hope amidst great tragedy. Tristan walked today. He did? His goal is to make it opening night. Okay. So you'll plead our case to Simpson? But first I must read. <laughs> so you're just gonna wait here? Lynn Manuel Miranda better watch out. Seriously? <laughs> no, he's brilliant. But you're good. Simpson shouldn't object to this. So student council will support it. I just need to clarify one thing. Of course. Did you hook up with Lola? What does that have to do with the play? Hope is Lola. Hope is a metaphor. Played by Lola and described as 16 cute blue hair idiot savant. Lola's not an idiot. So you did hook up. Look, I don't care what happened before Tris woke up, but we got him back and life is hard for him. Yeah, I know that. So we need to make things easier. There's already talk about you and Lola. If people see the play, there'll be more and eventually Tris will hear it. So you won't support the play? I think the better question is, can you? My first priority is to make sure that everyone here feels safe. By limiting our freedom of speech. This is high school. A public institution funded by taxpayer money. We have rights. And you would like to exercise those even though they might hurt other students? No. No, I don't want to hurt anyone. So I think that if you don't think we should perform the play, then I accept that judgment. What? Since when? Thank you, Miles. But I don't think we have to cancel the play. No, but I said I didn't want to hurt anyone. I know. With a few small tweaks, I think we can make it suitable for a high school audience. Um, I have notes. I'm excited to see what you do next. That was a nice move, dude. To pretend to be on his side. See you at rehearsal. Maybe no one else will make a leap. It's not like Tris has any reason to think that you hooked up, right? Right. Where are you three headed? Uh, to celebrate Lil's bravery. Did you save a calf from a tree? No, she shared the story of her abortion online. Frank's? The whole point of the video was to own it. You should check it out. Are you ever gonna... Have you seen Hunter? I'm wondering how things are going between him and Yael. What are you doing? Texting Jonah. Hey, Jonah. You look pretty. I love you. Don't you dare. Because that would be a huge violation of personal privacy. I was just trying to help. By interfering with my relationship. <sighs> Miles, some support? First, I need more info. Frankie pretended to be me online to Yael. And she forgave you. Because you told her I loved her. Don't you? Doesn't mean I was ready to say it. I'm good. Send the text. No. Okay, wait. I thought that maybe if I could fix things between you and Yael, maybe there'd be hope for me and Jonah. That is really pathetic. And it's too late. Look. Jonah's gonna see this! He's gonna think I'm a crazy person! Probably. I need to explain what happened. Well, he's at the Reeves' wedding. Then that's where I'll go. Good plan. And I, Consuela Riva. Okay, and cue smoke. <laughs> wow, it looks better than I thought. Yeah, I, mean, I think people are really gonna dig this. What? 
allergic to compliments there, big guy? Just got a text. It's from Tristan. Is he okay? He's coming to the play. Isn't that great news? I'm just worried that if he sees it, he's going to figure out. You and Lola hooking up? I knew it. You owe me a 20 and you're a dirtbag for cheating. No, look, it was just one time and it was when Tristan was still in a coma. I didn't think that we were getting them back. It didn't mean anything. Be honest, if he sees this thing, is he going to guess what happened? Hey, man, we directed the thing and we still weren't sure, so. Well, I can't even find out in a room full of people. Aren't you excited? Oh, uh, uh, uh sorry. Um... <laughs> hey, actually, can you come in here for a second? But you're, um... It's not like we haven't seen each other like this before, right? Breach. Okay. Um, so Tristan's coming to the play, and he, he can't find out about us. No, I told you I won't say anything. I know, I know, but I just need to change a few lines. It's not that many. Here. Look, I'm sorry about how this all went down. The, the timing, the... I'm sorry I wasn't there for the, you know... It's okay. The, I'm okay. You know, still, I should have been there. Can I ask you something? Did I mean anything to you? At all? Yeah. You were my hope. I'm worried. I love you. Please. Well, this is weird. I'm not used to you being so quiet. Ah! You're really in a coma, huh? Well, that's okay. Because I'm not leaving until you're better. <laughs> what am I supposed to do until you wake up? to play this one game. You'll never catch me. I'm faster than you. But I'm smarter. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you, Hope. You can't. He's only made it this far because you've been by his side. But I've only made it this far because you were by mine. Okay, this is brutal. I can't. Wait, where are you going? It's just getting good. Come on. I'll make it with you a while. Please. I'm coming. You shouldn't be here. I need to touch you. Oh, you never needed me. You needed someone. And now he needs you. Oh. Hiro, are you there? Yes. Yes. And I'm never leaving. so much for coming if you if you enjoyed that then i owe it all to my amazing cast and crew and our co-directors so let's raise a non-alcoholic bubbly to them shall we okay you're the party guys must have been too loud for you in student council think be brutal I thought it was beautiful it all felt very real I hooked up with Lola Trista I'm so sorry I thought that the, the, the doctors thought that you weren't gonna make I know. it and, uh, you do but 
between that video she posted and the play. It's kind of obvious. Do you hate me? Do you love her? It's over. I ended it as soon as you woke up. But did you love her? I guess, yeah. I couldn't have made it through everything without her. Who do you want to be with? You. You saw the play, Triss. I know that it sounds messed up, but everything, everything was about you. Even Lola. Have seen this coming. She deleted all of her social media. <laughs> I can't help but think if things had gone slightly differently this semester. I might have been being there. People are important. Can we get pizza? <laughs> it's literally been six months since I've had pizza. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I'm starving, so. <laughs> How did you survive without pizza? <laughs> yes, you're back. <laughs> Just one class a day for now, but he's getting better every day. Sweet vampire bite. Well, oh, you got a hickey. I'll give you that as a handsome. I'm complaining, but didn't we just come back from break? Can you guys believe that this is our last semester in high school? <laughs> Squish, I want a photo. <laughs> Is that a hickey? <laughs> so is Esme your new BFF? What? Wait, how do you know that? Because your escapades are posted all over the internet, dumbass. Hey, what is your problem? It used to be you! Cannot believe you abandoned me for those losers. Oh god, do you think mom's seen these? I sure have. Okay, I can explain. Why you destroyed Jonah's guitar? It was his fault. He showed up with Grace and he was looking all happy and the whole point of me going was to show him how happy I am. That must have been hard. It was. And I just feel like no matter what I do, I'm doomed to be miserable. <laughs> well, that's not true, but you are doomed to be grounded. That's unfair. You never grounded Miles for any of the crazy stuff he did. That's because I'm not dumb enough to put photos of me all over the internet. Fine, whatever. After this, no one will want to hang out with me anyway. I'm such a loser. I can't argue with that. And as for the guitar, you're going to give Jonah the money to pay for it. No, Mom, no. Yes, Frankie, yes. Do it today. Hey, that's what you get for hanging out with crazy Esme. She was the one who posted that stuff? Who went one class a day and then chauffeured back to the rehab center. Are you jealous? Only of your hands-on physiotherapists. Yeah, you should be. Miles! Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Do you got a second? Of course. A friend of mine works at the London Academy of the Arts. They have one of the most exciting creative writing programs in Europe. Sounds amazing. <laughs> well, she's in town and asked about any outstanding students that might be a fit for the last spot this fall. You, you mean me, right? <laughs> yes, he means you, modesty boy. <laughs> have you considered any writing programs like this for next year? No, not really. Um, I did just find out I got into Queens for business. I know it's last minute, but can I set up an interview for you? Do you think you're good enough for a program like this? If you heard my recommendation, you wouldn't be asking me that. Yes, please, set it up. I'll prep tonight, all night. <laughs> Thank you. I will let her know. The world needs to hear your voice, Miles. BAFTA last year. So you're saying this could lead to me meeting Idris Elba. Are we celebrating the good news? Uh, I, I gotta go. <sighs> your mother told me about Queen's Commerce. Congratulations. Listen, I know we're still rebuilding, but um, I wanted to give you this. Go ahead. I had some amazing years in that program, and you did a great. Wow. Thank you. Um, but speaking of programs, I also have an interview for the London Academy of the Arts for a creative writing program. You're going to become a writer. Well, I, 
I already am a writer. Yes, of course. <laughs> the play. What else do you have to say? I've written short stories, too. Listen, I'm not raining on your parade. I uh, just question if writing is enough to pay for convertibles and iPhones. And... I know it's a hard career. Exactly. It's a very hard career. Miles, do you really think you're good enough? Well, I was good enough to get this opportunity. Who well, is crazy competitive? Are you sure I'm good enough? Calm down. Tell me some of the ideas that you're bringing. OK, well, the one that I think sucks the least It'd be a story about World War II, but if they had social media then? So you'd hear everyone's fears and their secrets and their unique stories. Definitely tell that one. And relax. They're already looking for people like you. People like me? Mm-hmm. Didn't you see it on the website? This spot is reserved for diverse applicants. Diverse as in a rich white guy? <laughs> no, as in gay youth. Aren't you dating Tristan? Yes, but I, I date girls, too. I mean, or I have. It doesn't matter how you identify. Your work speaks loud and clear to your unique point of view. So I got this shot because I have a boyfriend, not because I'm good. I didn't say that. You didn't have to. My dad will love this. Anyway, I have class. Miles. He's such a fan of your work, and I must say, I was also very impressed with your script. Sure. For something that you and your boyfriend were in the middle of, you bring a very sensitive outsider's insight. Well, actually, the further I get away from that script, um, the less it really does for me. Really? Sure. Um, it has the whole queer issue gimmick, but I can do better. Sorry, gimmick? I'd rather not pin myself down. I see myself as the type of writer who can tell any story. Of course, and, and what do you think your unique point of view can bring to those stories? You mean my diversity? Sure, your bisexuality. I'm not just about sex with boys, if that's what you're saying. Look, I just want to be a writer. Okay, well, let's hear some ideas. How'd the interview go, Hotcha? I think I made a case for who I am, and not just some quota. Quota? What was the thing you were going for? Uh, Mr. Mitchell tried to get me to apply for some diversity spot, but I told him that's not for me. Wait, Miles Hollingsworth III applied for a diversity spot? <laughs> Just got a call. Sounds like that wasn't even you at the interview. Well, I guess I just wasn't diverse enough. I suggested you for that spot because you have talent, not because of your diversity. Except I'm a white guy with a trust fund that's not that diverse. Sure, you have privilege. But there are other factors that give you a unique perspective. Everyone, push your desks back and line up. We're going to try an exercise. Come on, line up. Line up, shoulder to shoulder. Move up. OK. First question. If you are able to show affection to your romantic partner in public without fear of bullying, take a step forward. If your school holidays coincide with the religious holidays you observe at home, Take a step forward. Next question. Operated. Take a step back. And final question, and you don't have to answer this if you don't want to. If you have ever experienced abuse, take a step back. What, do you want me to admit that I'm messed up, that my dad's always been right about me? Fine. That's not what this is about, Miles. Then what's the point of this stupid exercise? To show you the wealth of experience that has helped you shape your unique point of view. My diverse point of view? Diverse does not mean lesser than. Then what does it matter if I'm bisexual? Why do I need a special spot? You don't. But it's the one that exists, and you qualify for it. 
Your voice is underrepresented. It deserves to be heard, so we can help people. Like who? You, your writing really helped me get past the bus crash. And you also helped Goldie accept me in Russia. You reached her. I did, she never told me. I related to your play. And I'm not bi or white male, but I spent a lot of time in hospitals. You're an interesting, talented, complicated young man. You have stories to tell. Thanks, Mr. Mitchell. Thanks for coming over. I wanted to read you this. It's to the interviewer that I blew up at. I apologize for my conduct. You asked about ideas I was interested in. The truth is, I'm only starting to figure out those ideas. All my life, I've struggled with my own identity, whether to be what my father wants or rebel against it. This has left me afraid. Afraid to be labeled. Afraid to identify as bisexual. But that is a part of me. And it's one of the many ideas I intend to explore as a writer. You mean that? The bisexual part of me is the part that lets me love you. You heard that? I did. Interrupting something? Just Ollie professing his love. I have a surprise. Remember how we talked about going to Europe? A backpacking trip? My grandparents got it for me as a graduation gift. It's our chance to relive Paris. It's everything we dreamed about. I know. I can't wait to start planning. You okay? Um, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, is that a Parisian sweet for us to eat, pray, and mostly love in? <laughs> well, actually, for the full European experience, I was thinking... Hostels? You guys are gonna fly halfway around the planet with tough roommates. Or interesting people from all around the world. That could be fun. Don't worry, there will still be plenty of time for love. Like at the top of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, it sounds like an amazing trip. I know. Six months ago, this wouldn't have been possible. Now it is. I want everything to be perfect. Here, let me go to the study sheets. Test us today. I, um, I just need to just wait in the hall. I'll be right there. No, let me help. Wear your pants. Please, I'll just be one second. No, this is good practice for Europe. Miles, Here. just wait. Miles. <laughs> uh, Trish, I... I... Here, let me help. Stop, just... I told you to wait in the hall. Flip your papers. On you? 
Was this before or after you told them you got into the London Writers Academy? I didn't tell them. I'm actually going to try to defer. He... Can we talk about this morning? You can't give up the London Writers Academy for me. Well, it can wait. Right now, I want to be here for you. You're putting off all your dreams. And I think that we need to break up. No. All I've ever done is push myself for you. And it's been killing me. So this is my fault? I stood by your side while you were in a coma. I was here doing all of your rehab sessions. I gave up everything. I didn't ask you to do that. After everything that we've been through, are you seriously no, suggesting I that? Just, I don't know. I just can't do this anymore. So I don't even get a say when it comes to my own relationship. Not when it gets in the way of my health. If I'm ever gonna get better, I have to do it on my own. I have a day. Me and Miles are flying solo. Oh, I'm not going. You're skipping prom? But what about Tristan? He broke up with me, remember? Oh, yeah, so you can go to your fancy writing school. Yeah, which I can't afford because my dad thinks writing is a phase. And because you haven't asked him yet. Once people make up their minds, you can't change them. Right, so? I'm still hoping my mom will change her mind about me before graduation. If you want your dreams to come true, you have to work for them. So you, you talk to your dad, and you got to figure stuff out with your mom. And we'll all live happily ever after. <laughs> well, it's tonight's theme. And the only way Goldie will ever forgive me. Where's the tux, Miles? Isn't tonight prom? I'm not going. Tristan, he, he broke up with me. He didn't want me to give up that writing program in London for him. Ah. You got in, huh? Yeah, yeah. I know that you don't support it, but I was hoping that you could support me, at least for a while. You're cashing in your tickets to Europe. That's 5,000. Working as a lifeguard will give me another five. Leaving a $10,000 deficit. Which I need to borrow. And I've attached a payback schedule. That covers the first year. I what? I work hard. I, I qualify for financial aid. <sighs> Some people think that I can make a difference with my writing. I'd like to try. You always choose the hard path, huh? You know you have trust. That I can't access until I'm 25. We could change that. Seriously? You've grown up so much in the last two years, you know? Overcoming addiction and being there for Tristan. I play. I'm proud of you. You never said that before. <sighs> mm -hmm. Go to your writing school. But there is one condition. Don't miss the prom. <laughs> you know, I skipped mine, and I've always regretted it. <sighs> it's your killer bash, Chewie. You came! So Dad said yes to school. 
There's no backpacking in Europe. Oh, I'm going to do that too. And I've got an extra ticket if you'd like to come. Oh, I, I don't know. I'm pretty swamped this summer. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Where's Tris? I want to tell him. Oh, he's not, he's not coming. Maybe he had nothing to wear. So I guess it's just you and me, bro. Didn't mean to scare you. Doctor says you went for a swim. Shouldn't you be at prom? Didn't feel right. And the person I care most about is here. Now, I know we're broken up. But... Will you go to prom with me? <laughs> I got an extra ticket. I brought you a tux. I'm leaving to Europe next week and then staying for school. You're doing the writing program? Yeah. So I'd like to spend whatever time I have left together. <sighs> I, um... I can't. Okay. I respect that. But... No, it's not because I don't want to. It's just that I've been having a bad day. I don't know if I could handle the sensory overload. <laughs> Well, then we'll have to have prom here. I wouldn't be the person I am today without you. Ditto. How do we say goodbye? We don't. We just dance. Left the garden as it was Found my feelings in my mouth For what it's worth, it's what it is It's just because It's with Miles. Oh, they dated. And too, if she broke my heart. Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't have accepted a strip tease from Zoe Rivas. <laughs> Who turned out to be your cyber bully? <laughs> oh, the good old days from class for like a month. Now we're graduating. <laughs> so what am I? An acquaintance. <laughs> Banting! <laughs> Jonah Hop, London Writers Academy. Was I wrong? <laughs> I'll take the